Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. Now today I'm on my way down into Cornwall. Uh, it's been absolutely horrendous weather today. I've been working on Dartmoor this morning and we've been having 50, 60 mile an hour gusts. Um, it looks slightly better where I am now, um, but I don't think it's gonna last. I'm actually on my way down into the Lizard Peninsula to a town called Hawth Leven. And the reason is, I've got tomorrow off work. Uh, I'm coming away in the van for tonight, do a bit of landscape photography as usual. And because the weather's been so gusty and windy, I wanted to go to a place that is renowned for dramatic seascape, storm, um, kind of big sea pictures. Um, and that's simply because at Port Levin you have a clock tower slash um, town hall that sat right on the coast, right next to the water, and it's renowned for getting the waves hit it. Um, so if there's, the weather is bad down there and it's quite stormy, you can get some really cool images. Now, the surf forecast is saying we're going to get anywhere from 16 feet or 5 meter tall waves. So hopefully, with a bit of luck, we're gonna get some really dramatic um, pictures there. I've never been there before. I'm looking forward to getting down there. I'm about 20 minutes away. I'm gonna get down there, uh, find a vantage point. I don't have a clue where I'm gonna shoot from yet. Uh, get the camera all set up, and I'll come back to the end, and let's see what images we can get. down at the location now unfortunately well fortunately for me it's not turned out as stormy as I hoped it would be um, it's actually a lot better than the weather predicted it's probably better for the locals but I wanted dramatic waves and um, kind of powerful storms it's windy enough for me to worry about the camera falling off the edge here though so I'm holding on to it uh, it is still quite a nice scene it's pretty much around sunset now we're not going to get any color um, but we do have these really cool waves um, crashing just along the headland there. And the lights are just starting to come on uh, in the village now. So it's slightly uh, not the kind of scene I was hoping for. But saying that, we've got some nice um, conditions actually. It's nice overcast sky. Now there is a bit of definition in there with a soft grad filter on a 0.9 when we we'll be bringing down that sky. So I think it is going to be a bit moody. I'm hoping the clock tower lights are going to come on. Um, I'm going to stay here for about another 20 minutes. Hopefully get those lights come on, add a bit more to the scene. And hopefully get some nice images from it. So I've been doing a mixture of um, landscape and portrait shots. Uh, I've been doing um, panoramic sweeps as well. Although I always find they are a bit difficult to do panoramic suites involving the sea and storms and uh, waves because you do get a lot of different movements in the water between each stitch. If you've got any tips on uh, ways I can improve that please stick them in the comments. All I try and normally do is lots of images in the stitch um, or tiny movements between each image but it never seems to work that well with waves. I'm always having to do a lot of post work on it to fix it. I'm shooting with the 24-105, to it's a weather sealed lens, if it gets wet I'm not too worried and like I said I've got the 0.9 Lee filter soft grad on the front and that's about it really, I'm shooting around about anywhere from one second to four seconds because I want to capture a bit of drama in that water, I don't want to soften out to just mush and I'm shooting quite zoomed in so at the moment I'm shooting uh, around about 90 mil, 85 mil, something like that on this lens. And that is just giving me a nice image, just with the building, um, I think it's a church, but say I'll call it the clock tower, with the clock tower on the left of the scene. And just looking out to um, the water as it breaks. Now it is quite a nice scene looking down um, into the town as well. You've got these really nice coloured buildings here. 
The only problem with it is there's a lot of telegraph poles and electric poles. There's also the um, uh, the lifeboat house and there's also this chimney right in front of me. So I can't get a nice composition from this vantage point that kind of takes out those elements that lets me shoot down into the town and get a nice image. I'm kind of stuck really with the, the kind of clock tower and the sea. Um, I'm not too fussed, there's still nice images. I'm definitely glad I came to uh, this location. There's a lot of private drives around here and you are kind of limited to where you can shoot from. Um, so, I mean, if I look at the image that I'm going to shoot now, um, well, I'm just going to move around slightly to get some of the colour details from the buildings beside this. And I'm shooting at an ISO now of... Shooting at an ISO of 200. Um, I'm going to bring it down to F9. Um, I'm going to refocus on the church there, or the, the clock tower, should I say. Just check it's sharp. Um, that's about as sharp as I think I'll get it. It's not too bad. It is quite dark now, so it's going to not look amazing on the back of the camera. Um, and that's giving me a one point second image at an ISO 200 and F9. I'm just going to shoot that image now. And before I do that, actually, I'm going to put it onto a two second timer. I'm going to shoot that image now wait for that's done and I'm just going to come around slightly um, and just do a bit of a sweep on this one. I've got some cars moving in the scene now so it's probably going to mess up the stitch slightly um, but I'm not going to be too over the top with this stitch. I just want a bit of the headland, a bit of the waves. Um, probably do that and one more image. something like that. We've got some really nice diffuse skies at the moment. There is a tiny bit of definition and I'm going to have to do a lot of post work to bring them out to something where it gives it a bit of drama. Um, but it is making the scene quite well lit or when I say lit it's pretty dark now but it is putting a lot of even light across most of the scene. Um, that's about it really. It's a cool place. It would be amazing to get down here during a really big storm. And I think I will keep it in my mind for somewhere for the future if it is really bad weather to come down here. But at the moment, I'm just going to get a few more images, set up a few more locations um, or a few more compositions, should I say, a few more different zooms. And now I'm going to try and get some slightly different images. I'll stick it in this vlog. Hope you've enjoyed it. Tomorrow, I'm not sure where I'm going to be going yet. Uh, I'm going to find somewhere tonight to stay in the van and I'm going to maybe go up to North Devon, um, sorry, North Cornwall, maybe do some of the locations around Boss Castle tomorrow, which means I'll have a bit of a, a less drive back tomorrow. Hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and put any suggestions or any way I can improve those stitches into the comment box. Um, I'm always learning. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll catch up with you or you'll catch up with me on the next one.